comes out in North Omaha moments after a man arrived after watching proceedings at a double murder trial. And that man is now dead. He's identified as Jarrell Haynes. His family tells WWT 6 News that he was at the trial to support the family of the man accused of killing two young men nearly a year ago. Haynes was on the porch of his grandmother's home at 16th and Victor when someone began shooting. He was rushed to a hospital where he died. His family believes the shooting could be connected to the trial and to things said on social media. A little over an hour after the shooting, there was a courthouse melee during a break. This at the double murder trial. The people involved did not yet know anything about the shooting. And the man on trial is Charles Trotter. He's accused of killing Dexter Joseph and Marcel Lovejoy. It was during a party in January last year. Our Brandon Scott picks up the story from there. It's quiet now here at the Douglas County Courthouse, but earlier this morning, a loud and violent confrontation nearly derailed the trial of an accused double murderer. This was the chaos outside the courtroom, a knockdown, drag out fight with Douglas County Sheriff's deputies taking suspects to the ground before walking them away in handcuffs. This ain't what my community needs. These ain't where my people want to be. The melee started as an argument between observers inside the Charles Trotter murder trial. The teenager is accused of two deadly shootings, which prosecutors say are gang related. During the fight, Trotter's mother, Barbara Robinson, was caught in the middle. That's her in the orange shirt. You don't want to have the jury influenced by any outside sources in, in any manner. And uh, or have, have jurors actually be frightened about what's taking place outside the courtroom. When court resumed for its afternoon session, jurors and observers were greeted by metal detectors and stepped up security. We haven't had uh, altercation like this in, uh, in almost three years, uh, so we take uh, security steps uh, to the limit as much as we can down here. Because the jury saw the fight and because of a homicide earlier today, which may have ties to the case, the judge ordered the jury to be sequestered for the remainder of the trial. Meantime, four people have been arrested for their part in today's fight. Reporting at the Douglas County Courthouse with photographer Mike Plews, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News. And the names of those taken away in handcuffs have